It is one mile, six furlongs, handicap, zero to 85. It's a big field. It's the weather bonus, handicap. And it's captivity, Belfair, Lamas, um, column sill, dark, uh, cravat, pleasure, eternity, crystal. Another fancy runner here is John Louis. He's at seven to two. That's my personal pick for this race. He looks quite good on the paper. But unfortunately, races do not run on paper. Represent is the last runner to load up. 14 runners. They sent on their way. And off they go. I'll just give them a time to settle down here around the first turn. It's going to look like Mokalev Klaas, who is right up there in the early parts of the stages. Brasiliande is also up there. Brasiliande Fine is now just taken up the lead by about, make it two lengths. Back in second, you can find Eternity Crystal. Then Captain Cardington. He's traveling at third at the rail in the white. Traveling quite smoothly is Paul Gostello. Represent now in the, in the yellow. You feel sorry for him because he's taking that turn very wide around the turn. As, uh, as well as John Louis and Plan Incoming. They're all running out a bit wide here, hoping to hit that next corner um, with a bit of cover. Uh, Eternity Crystal still stays in that second spot. Lamas is in third, Soul Bird represent. Captivity Balfe, I would say, is just about in front of that one. Paul Costello, Captain Cardington. Then you can find John Louis. Hello, gorgeous. Further back in the field. Then um, Cravat Pleasure, Plan Incoming. And Mokalev Class now, who took the lead as they jumped, is right at the back of the field now with at least about 13 lengths covering them from top to tail. And that would be the 13 length. It's because Presley is not playing around here. She's, uh, she's gone way clear here by about five lengths from in second. Eternity Crystal. Soul Bird is in third in the orange cap, orange sleeves. That one's now starting to make a move forward and is about to just about pass Eternity Crystal. And then you can find a column cell dark, John Louis, Paul Costello is up there. Then you can find Lamos. Further back in the field, Captivity Bal Balafe is up there. Uh, column cell dark now. It's also starting to move up just a little bit of the pink cap. And now being asked the early question is Soul Bird to get closer to them, to the two front runners there. Further back, Cravat Pleasure, John Louis, Captivity, Belfair, Free, should I say, represent us further back in the field. Hello Gorgeous and Captain Coddington has dropped out right to the back of the field and he looks to be struggling to keep with them. As they now start to make that long turn in foam, furlong pole, it's the full furlong pole. Brooklyn Fine is still in front, Eternity Crystal is in second, now starting to make a, a big move as column cell dark now he now really starts to pour on the pressure around this turn he's now moved in from fourth to second and is about to put his head down in front is column cell dark eternity crystal brosseline undefined is now looking to his head out the back door Christ eternal electricity is running on in second back in third paul costello looks to have a big claim there's one and a half furlongs left to go they need to catch column cell dark he's gone in front by two he links in front make that three now make that four He's making a pleasure out of this. The jockey is looking behind him. There's no one in sight that's challenging him. Mokalift Glass is running a massive race. Cravat Pleasure. They're all running for places, but it's race over. Column Seal Dark wins. Back in second. I think maybe Eternity Crystal. Long way back, Captain Coddington. Wow, we. What a performance here. Column Seal Dark. He wins it easier than what the margin suggests because the jockey started holding him up, but he wins well. Eternity Crystal did actually indeed hang on for that second place. Mocha left class, big run from him, from Stone Cold last. Runs a massive race for third. Keep that one in mind in a smaller field next time out. But let's be honest. Column still dark. They were never going to catch Steve Rand's runner here. He was too good for them. Second Eternal Crystal and then Mocha left class. And Captivity, Balfour is further back with uh, Cravat, Pleasure, Soul Bird further back in the field. And then, well, let's just be honest, the race never really got into the race. But wow, what a win this was. Let's keep this one for the Black Book.